Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and I am here to launch our CSAT foundation course CSAT 3.0. This is a little bit about myself. Uh, whatever is relevant, you can take it out. Otherwise, leave it. More important thing is what are the features of this program. <coughs> Most important thing is this course will cover syllabus as given by UPSC comprehensively and will bear in mind the changing pattern of the UPSC. See, I don't need to again highlight importance of CSAT. Everybody knows that, that it has emerged as one of the biggest hurdles uh, in preliminary examination. UPSC is making CSAT more and more difficult in past previous years. Uh, the changing pattern is with respect to the focus of UPSC is now with a lot of foundational concepts especially uh, in arithmetic geometry and skill of mathematization that is to convert your word problems into equations and later to solve those equations. These are the skills that you need to hone. Then another change is we are uh, seeing more and more data sufficiency question, uh, questions from uh, counting principles which are essentially arithmetic but we can uh, study, study them under permutations and combinations. Uh, then comprehension, comprehension is also Around 27 questions asked in comprehension, but question asked are uh, sometimes very, very different. Uh, wherein students' ability to read between the lines, to really comprehend what the author means and might mean, what you can take away or the inference as we call it, all these skills are very, very essential to get through our CSAT. So, uh, with keeping regard to all those things, we have designed this course focus on of course basic arithmetic counting geometry and mathematization and upsc expect you to know concepts still class 10 level they have mentioned this in the syllabus i expect you to just know the at least somewhere in the back of the mind have those concepts and other than that we will build everything from scratch there is no issue another important thing while uh, giving that csat paper is the confidence this is true for prelims in general or uh, CAC examination in uh, general as well. That confidence is the key. If you go inside with the confidence that I will clear this examination, you will come out clearing. <coughs> with In that respect, past year questions become very, very, very crucial. We will solve all the past year questions in class except comprehension. But all the non-comprehension questions will be solved in class with detailed explanation with uh, and using knowledge that we have studied on that day itself. So, once you realize how simply you can solve them uh, with clarity of concepts, then you will realize what UPSC is looking for. UPSC has moved away from your road based examinations or uh, somewhere you can uh, learn the formulas and just apply them blindly. That is not what UPSC is looking for. UPSC is now mixing concepts, UPSC is now focusing on your bare understanding, your counting abilities, methodical counting. So, they want to understand how analytical are you, how methodical are you, how disciplined you are. All these skills, these are not something uh, that you can learn <coughs> very, very quickly or just, re ro just remember some formulas and apply them directly. That is not how it happens. See, uh, that is why solving uh, 12 years of UPSC questions yourself is important and I will show you how to do that. After that, you can practice yourself as well. <clears throat> then there will be of course class problems and uh, home assignments for you to practice. Another habit of UPSC is just to go one step ahead at a time. So, if last year they have gone till level X, then next year they will go to X plus 1. Keeping that in mind, we have designed these home assignments and class problems such that we will go just one step ahead of UPSC, what UPSC has already gone till so that we anticipate what the next question might be. Now, another important aspect of the CSAT is comprehension. And comprehension is not the skill that you can learn in a day or two. It requires continuous practice. So, throughout this course, we will have comprehension practice. <coughs> uh, I think fifth lecture, one of the lectures is basics of comprehension wherein I will explain what is comprehension all about? Why do why does UPSC include this in your CSAT paper? Then what are the different kinds of questions asked and what are their meanings? 
and after understanding about everything about comprehension then we will move on to practice because <coughs> comprehension is a skill that requires persistent continuous practice it is not a skill that you can gather in a day or two <coughs> and after that class uh, uh, at the end of every class we will have two to three comprehensions so that uh, in total duration of this course there are at least 60 comprehensions that are discussed in this course and once you will see how to think once you will see how i think how i deduce how can i anticipate next questions what is the meaning of those questions that then you will realize that comprehension is also something not very difficult we can identify the easier comprehension questions and solve them with confidence <coughs> then uh, this course will have 40 classes around 2.5 hours each and these classes are recorded classes and for every class we have very very well curated class material that you will be provided with now the benefit of this recorded classes is that you can watch at your pace you can watch whenever you want plus you can watch topics which uh, where you are weak first because see again preliminary examination is about time now and now you must be feeling time crunch that is why the recorded lectures are much more beneficial wherein you can identify where you are weak at and then tackle those topics or where you are strong at and then revise it very very quickly at faster pace you can watch the lectures at 1.5x or 2x itself 2x uh, so that you cover those things quickly and it is kind of a revision for you all those benefits are there plus there will be regular doubt sessions so i will be available at the institute and we will meet very very regularly as per the students demands by weekly or bi weekly we can decide mutually so live and in classroom discussion would be there so that you don't feel that you don't feel lost whatever doubts you have in respect with csat or how to approach csat what are the priorities that you should keep in mind as individual so that according to that we can customize your strategy for csat and we can meet regularly <coughs> then this is the rough uh, structure of the classes there are quantitative aptitude 13 to 15 classes reasoning is there then there is general mental ability then there is decision making data interpretation data sufficiency and of course comprehension one class would be there plus at the end of every class we will discuss comprehension this is how to join you can call uh, level up is uh, on these numbers and join you can visit the website and join and this is just a parting thought that confidence is the key and have some faith in yourself and in me and finally i would like to assure you that the course this course would be most affordable most relevant and best course going around in market for csat and you can of course watch youtube videos first before joining this course there are they are available on level up youtube channel you can check them out and well i hope to see you guys soon uh, in doubt sessions and we will together level up our preparation of csat thank you